So this is a CX gate, and this is a CCX gate. Now, what is the difference? These are both multi-qubit gates. The first one I want to talk about is the CX gate. It's a lot more common. Um, this one's a little bit more nuanced, the idea behind it. So the first thing you want to do is initialize your circuit. Well, what we've done so far is that we've created our two registers, and we're going to do the non pair circuit. This is how it's going to look like. What we have is two qubits right here, and two class qubits. What's going to happen is that when you connect your circuit, this is what's going to look like. So, so far, this is what we've done, is I've written out an empty circuit, pretty much. Um, this is what's going to happen once you write down this memory. Now, if this is done, if it's saying, look, we have our, our four parameters, our four things inside. And all we've done is created two. Comes here, you pass it to here. This comes here, you pass it here. So basically, once you initialize everything, your circuit is going to look like this. Okay. Now, what is the point of this? And what is this in the first place? So now we can understand what this is happening. Okay. A regular gate, let's say an X gate, what this will do is we're going to swap the state. So if I have a zero, it'll be one. So let's what X is going to do. Zero to one, one to zero. So if I have a single, so if I was going to do an X on this, this is how I would do it. Something like this. This is how it would look like. My state starts by some state, and then it comes off, switch, come here, whatever, whatever's gonna happen, right? But what you want is a way to change it based on something else, okay? Meaning another qubit. Fortunately, we have that opportunity with something called control gates. So if you think about it like this, if I only go to the store if it's not raining. So if it's not raining, I go to the store. If my control qubit is one, I flip the one on the target qubit. So basically that's something like this. Basically, I'm going to have a control qubit like this. And a target over there. Now, the control is what we use to determine the the control basically is what we use to determine whether or not we're going to do operation. So I'm doing a CX. If my control is 1, I flip this one because our operation is X, right? So what's going to happen is that here, if I have a control right here, if this is 1, I want it to change this cubic here. What I want to say here is that I want to. So, okay, this is how it's going to look like. Basically, this is how it's going to look like on the circuit. Basically, this is the control of the circuit. So what I'm going to say is I want to pass in this into here and this into here. And what it's going to say is that if this is one, I flip this one to this and this. The question is, how do I get this and this? You see? So we call our circuit. We want to access this qubit, which we say is of the key register of what? Of zero. Let's start with that. Of zero. So the first one, then we say Q of one. Now if you want now what you want to do, you want to apply a VCX. What is applying it? Yes, so QC. Our control is this. Target. If that was one in my control, I have the target. So if it's zero, you do nothing. Now, the last part I want to show for this second part is measurement. Is that once we're done here, it's called a barrier, but it's not important right now. So with measurements, which is gonna happen like um, measure. So what this is gonna do is we're going to measure our, our keyboard results. The problem is we gotta put it into the classical part, unless the problem is we cannot even um, get anything out if you pass it to that. So what's gonna happen is that the measure part is gonna say, look, we're gonna have our measurements. We're going to pass it into its respective um, components. It's going to be 
we applied this already, what's going to happen is we're going to do m. And the question is, where is this going to go? This is going to travel down to this part. Then the second m is going to travel down to the second class over there. Okay. So this is how it's going to look. Um, and, and that's basically it for this, this CX. Now the question is, how does the CCX come into come play? So the CCX is basically called a top gate, and it's basically used a lot in error correction. So what's going to happen is that instead of having one that, that's, that determines the output, you have two. Um, you can also have a multi-controlled, multi-target gate, which can be more than two, or more than one, which is like very like, useful. Um, so this is basically what, what's going to happen is that this is going to take in two, Control. This has one control, and then you're going to pass in uh, your two controls, and if they're both one, it's going to flip it. This place. Instead of one here, you have two. You was basically determine the output of the target. So there's CCX, right? So basically, the idea of this. And that's it. That's that's the dealio.